Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on guys, it's Filthy and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to talk about how to do your augments just as fast as possible. I get asked this a lot on stream, so all the footage you're going to see is from season 21. We tried to put some augments up to level 100 just as quick as we can now. We're going to talk about some concepts for augmenting, so why you should do it, you know, the plus side of it. Talk about how to do it as quickly as possible. That does come with a slight downside, which we will talk about and how to mitigate it. But these principles, you don't have to do hundreds. You could do 80s, you could do 90s. You could even use these principles to go up to 110s, 120s. It just kind of depends what kind of level player you want to be and how much time you've got to invest in the game but we're going to go through it i'm going to show you why we do it show you how to do it as quickly as we can but if you are new around here do consider subscribing welcome to the channel to anyone who is new and as always guys do come by and say hello on twitch it means an awful lot that people do stop by so on this stream in question we managed to get a level 100 gem done so we included key farming and all of the upgrades we did it in one hour 16 minutes now i'm by no means a particularly amazing player so people probably could do it quicker i was also chatting at the time because obviously it was streaming so again we could have maybe shaved a little bit of time off now really it all revolves around this recipe here in the cube the last one number 10 calderson's despair now basically this all looks super complicated all that you do is you put legendary gem in, you put three of these flawless gems in so for whichever stat you want. So if you wanted to get vitality, you'd put a purple one in. Dex, you go for green. Strength, you go for red. And intelligence, you go for yellow. So you take your piece, you stick it in there with the gem, and then you stick in, like, let's pretend these were the flawless ones. You hit transmute, and it would then augment the gem onto the piece of gear. Now, the level of the gem corresponds with the rank on the augment. So, as you can see on these gloves, I've done 110. So, let's say I'd have to have 110 rank gem here. That would then get me that 550 dex, as you can see on the bottom. Now, this basically just adds main stat. It's a way of adding power to your character. So, that's both in terms of damage and also toughness. So... At the moment, obviously, we're near the, well, about two thirds of the way through the season. I'm hoping BTR is going to start soon when I'm recording this. But for me, this is about as far into end game as I get. And I've got main stat of about just under 20k. Now, obviously, this is just a multiplier. You can see up here, 19,360%. So that's a modifier. All my other modifiers get run through this. So obviously, if this was only, say, 10,000%, so let's say I had 10k in main stat, we'd only be doing half the damage because the multiplier would literally be half the size. Obviously, at the start of the season, when you've got like 8k, 7k, maybe up to 10k at the very start of a season, obviously it does make a bit of a difference. If you can get an extra 500 in main stat in all of these 13 slots, that's going to give you a nice big damage increase. It's going to give you a huge percentage uplift. Even let's say you only get three done, let's say you do three level 100s. So you're adding, let's say, 1,500 in main stat. If you start off with a base of eight, so that's almost 20% damage. So to go from 8,000, Adding another 20% on would be like 9,600. So you're pretty close to adding 20%. And that's an entire riff level. Plus it'll compound, it'll make all your speeds faster, it'll make all your keys faster, bounties faster. So really, augmenting is a really good thing. And the way to view it is it's kind of like game Paragon level. So, you know, once you get up to like 14, 1500 Paragon, they do start to slow down a lot, but you can add them with gems. So each one of these augment points is kind of like a Paragon level. So you could do one simple rift and get five Paragon levels with an augment by the time you slap it onto the item piece. And it could take you quite a few rifts to get those, those points up. So basically it's a way of really increasing your character's power. Now, in terms of doing this as quickly as possible, first thing you need is keys. So it's going to be 20 keys to do a level 100 augment because it's five goes per key. Now, obviously, if you take any deaths, if you die at any point, you're going to have to do an extra one. So that's going to be 21 keys. Again, if you want a smaller augment, you can scale that down. You might only need, say, I don't know, 19, 18 keys, whatever it is, depending on the level that you're going for. Again, this obviously is an end game kind of build. We've used the G.O.D. Demon Hunter, but again, all of these principles apply cross class. Doesn't matter what class you pick, uh, you're basically going for the same thing. So importantly, you've got to be quick. So move speed is important, but it's not the determining factor. You need to be flattening stuff. You need to be one shotting stuff. So it's kind of that balance. So 
for example, we've got we've got the Wreath of Lightning as legendary gem here. This gives us 25% move speed whenever this goes off. Now, let's say earlier on in the season I didn't quite hit hard enough, this would be replaced with a Bane of the Trapped. So that would give me an extra modifier and I could just get through those 216s quickly. Now you'll often see the gold trap, boon of the hoarder and avarice band as a combo. This will cause monsters to drop gold, increase your pickup radius and make you immortal. And that means that you can just focus completely on DPS on the character. So, you know, dex gems and the gear for a dex class, giving extra deeps and all that kind of stuff. Now, I've basically put move speed passives in. So hot pursuit gives me move speed, tactical advantage gives me move speed. And then we've got some skills on here. Smoke screen displacement gives me move speed. Shadow Power Glide gives me move speed. And as I say, you're kind of looking to keep working on this kind of build as you go through the season. Try and make a key farming build as quick as you can, but it is that balance between move speed and damage. Now, another consideration is gold find. So you obviously get a lot of gold with the gold wrap, sorry, Boon of the Hoarder, and gold wrap rolls with uh, gold on the secondary, so secondary gold find. With Flavor of Time, you can use a Kimbo's, that'll give you up to 100% extra gold. You can maybe try and work a green gem into the helm, but I've got a fair bit of gold, uh, gold find on these pieces, so I'm not really running out. So I found that I'm actually getting more gold per T16 than I'm spending in rifts. So obviously that's something that you need to balance as well. You know, you want to empower the rifts because if every time you don't empower one, you're losing a potential gem level. So the first thing, get the keys as quick as you can. Make sure you've got a fast build that will actually do the damage. You know, if you, if you go too fast, it becomes hard to pick stuff up. So it's kind of like finding that nice um, balance point. So I'll put a D3 planner link to this build in the description. You know, if you want to copy and paste it, but you know, it, it, let's say it was in the Necromancer, you'd be looking for Stuart's Greaves for move speed. You'd be looking for pickup radius and, and all that kind of stuff. Just trying to make life a, a, as easy as possible, really. Now, getting the keys should hopefully only take you about, I don't know, 15, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how quick you are with your build. Once you've done that, then what I would recommend is going over to a build that basically, if I can find it, concentrates completely 100% on move speed. Now, what I did first time around for doing this is we ran this on GR85. So we did keep some of the toughness things in here with the all res gems and that kind of stuff. The idea is, is that this build is supposed to be as fast as humanly possible. So again, we've got the Wreath of Lightning in here. I've got a load of move, move speed abilities. We're just trying to clear these rifts in like 90 seconds. So it sounds a bit weird, but you start off at level 15 because that'll give you a guaranteed five upgrades on your gems. You just basically open a key, do a GR15. Then once it's done, you do a GR20, then 25, then a 30, 35, so on and so forth. And this for me, this build could still clear 85 in like under two minutes every single time. And then once we got to there, I then swapped out. So you need to be making yourself a build that will clear a rift, potentially if you get a good one in like one minute, 30 seconds, maybe a little bit quicker if you get festering woods. So the idea again is, you know, Nemesis braces become very important. They'll give you extra progression just as much kind of damage and speed as you can actually fit into the build. And that, you know, as I say, you just want into ABC, always be closing, getting those rifts popped. Now, what you can do is when you find stuff on the ground, you can just simply come here and salvage it with Hadrix. So you'll see me doing that in the footage. Sometimes I will come and ID the stuff because it might be something I'm interested in. You know, so let's say I'm still looking for Primal Dawn this season. So I mean, this one's not great. So if I find a Dawn, I'm still gonna check it out just to see whether it's any good. Same for stuff like Squirts, Flavor of Time, hard to find items. Um, you know, maybe these rings, if I, if I found some green rings, I probably would ID them. But other than that, if I, if I know it's items that I'm not gonna use, you can just simply salvage it without having to ID it. Um, and one of the advantages of kind of working through this process and doing it, you know, level 15, level 20, so, so on and so forth, you don't get tons of blood shards. You don't have to stop to upgrade with Kadala. You're not getting tons of items again to salvage with Hadrig or to maybe check out and ID them. Now, once I got to 85, we then obviously need a speed build, but one that will basically hit a little bit harder. So this is when we swap over to what is more my kind of speed build for the season. So Ballista for a shield, and again, just a kind of classic God DH build. A gizzard to help keep up that shield, squirts for double damage mod. So again, this one can go all the way up to 105, and that is kind of in the three and a half, four and a half minute range, depends on the map. So 
from 85 when I jump up to 90 I put this on we tended to clear 90 in like two and a half minutes 95 gets a little bit slower 100 gets a little bit slower and obviously 105 is kind of the limit for this build so that should really only give us the one extra rift that we have to do and then basically I just kind of stuck my push gear on and just Blasted, you know, blasted it out. Uh, I think instead of stricken here, I did actually take the bane of the trap. So again, you're looking to get somewhere close to your push build, maybe take the stricken out for another damage gem, and then looking to bust that last one out in kind of like five, maybe six minutes again, depending on how it goes. But that's kind of the thought process. Now, what this will allow you to do, because you're running these silly little 15s and 20s and 25s it means that you'll absolutely fly through these keys really fast and that's what allows you to get a level 100 augment done in like an hour and 15 minutes which obviously is pretty nice now the downside to that method is is you're not getting very good value out of your keys in terms of in terms of gem levels 100% it is the best thing to do but obviously you're not getting much xp you're also not finding many items so again if you're still looking for gear pieces it makes a little less sense to do it this way but if you literally just want to do it as quick as possible it's faster because the content is easier and it's faster because you're not having to stop for Kadala you're not having to stop for Hadrig uh, quite as often now the other way that I would do it and this is probably the way that I tend to do my first few in the season is you know let's say we start off at 85 with that super speed build and we just nail out 85s until we then jump up to 90 now that will give us a nice blend of XP it'll give us a lot more XP than say going you know 15 20 25 and so on it'll give us more blood shards and it will give us more items so it kind of becomes a question do you want to do them as quickly as possible uh, or do you want the extra goodies and stuff so yeah so the basic concept guys is is keys just as fast as possible you know work on your build the whole time make sure you've got enough gold in it and that kind of stuff then you want a super duper mega super speed build that can flatten stuff in like 90 seconds you want to do that to the highest level that you can if it's only 65 or it's only 60 that's cool that's fine and you will jump off onto a better build after that um, and then work your way up until you get to kind of you know maybe you're only pushing 90 95 that's fine again you know maybe you want to augment to 80 85 maybe it's 90 and you're just kind of looking to build from there so it is most definitely worthwhile exercise now one thing i would always even on the super super speedy build make sure you take your cheat death because again you know in the first augment we did i did die a couple of times obviously it's difficult reading chat messages and trying to zip through stuff really quick but if you take your cheat death off you know something can go wrong even at lower difficulties you know there's all sorts of random crap that can happen in this game so i would always leave the cheat death on but other than that it's just the case of abc always be closing and you know if you think about it if if we can do one in an hour hour and 15 minutes then you could get in, an entire character specked out in like i don't know what 15 16 hours worth of game time and that's a you know a huge damage increase that we could get we could get you know an absolute bunch of main stat here 13 slots times 500 uh, in main stat which obviously would be pretty nice so that is it guys that is kind of how to approach augments in the absolute fastest way possible as i say you can you can do it for a little bit more xp and stuff if you just want to kind of go at that kind of higher gr85 equivalent but other than that, I hope this video is helpful. I hope I've encouraged at least a couple of casual people to do orgs. You know, you don't they don't have to be 110s, 120s. You can do 80s. It's still an awful lot of power. Uh, 400 main stat on every piece here. You know, you could easily get just get 10 of them done. Extra 4k main stat. It's uh, it's going to be a nice damage increase for you, uh, and it is well worth your time. And you never know, you might find a couple of beam of dreams whilst you go. So. That's it guys, I hope wherever you are in the world you're staying safe, I hope you've enjoyed the video, I'll be back soon, come see me on Twitch, take it easy guys, peace.